Hi guys, it's Tony. I'm doing a video for Gamekeeper John. Mark's going to be here helping me doing the camera work and stuff. Uh, the reason I'm doing the video is most of you that know me from the forum or the Gamekeeper Facebook page know that I'm an avid hunter. I love hunting, I love tubes, and I love Gamekeeper catapults. So I also love testing stuff. So while John's a busy man bringing out his new range of tubes and his new range of tube shooters, and also some interesting stuff coming out in HDPE, I'm going to do a few tests just to show you how these band sets compare. We're going to test three pieces of ammo, 9.5mm steel, which you can see weighs 3.5 grams, 10.7mm lead, which you can see weighs 7.6 grams, and 12mm lead, which weighs 10.5 grams. You can also see at the bottom there, that's the email address, orders for Gamekeeper catapults at hotmail.co.uk if you want to order any of John's catapults. We've got three catapults, all designed by Gamekeeper John. Chunky Milbro Mark III, wearing the Dancone tapered greens. Um, Chunky Milbro Mark III is designed by John, and cast in alloy by Pete, uh, Milbro Pro Shoot, or Ho also known as Hogan Castings. We've got the Chunky Milbro Mark II, another catapult made by John in multiplex, and wearing the double golds 2015, Theraban gold. And the Chunky Milbro Mark III, this is a blank that I finished myself from John. It's wearing Dankung Reds. Um, we've got all Gamekeeper pouches or pouch material, pouches that I've made myself from Gamekeeper pouch material. All the draw lengths are the same, as you can see, except for just over 7 inch active band length. When I say active band length, I do not include the pouch because that's not elastic and it does not stretch. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's all that. Without further ado, we'll get on to do some testing and show you what's what. Okay, now we're going to test the draw weight. As you can see, it's set to zero. Ah. This is the bank on greens. And that's about a 20 pound draw weight. And that, could you look at this? And that's stretching out to around about 44 inches. Okay, we're going to turn the scales on again and we're going to set the bank on weight. Okay, that's around about a 22 pound draw weight, and that's stretching out to about 40 inches. Okay, now we're going to test the draw weight of double Theraban Gold 2015. It's maxing out around about 28 to 29 pounds, and that's about 44 inches, the same as the, um, the same as the, uh, Bank and greens. Okay, so now we move on to crony testing. As you can see, crony is ready, set to zero. Everything's going to be recorded in feet per second. Um, I've got lots of artificial light to make sure that the sensors get enough light. I've got a temperature and a humidity gauge. 44% is the humidity. The temperature is between 18.9 and 20 degrees. The reason there's two readings is because this unit here registers the temperature. And up here, around about the height the projectile is travelling, we've got another sensor. I'll be firing into a catch box, and as you can see, um, I've got a blanket behind it to stop anything from coming flying back in my head. I'm now going to pass the camera to Mark and start the testing. We're going to be using 9.5mm steel, and we start by testing the dank and green. All these bands are brand new. I've got a lot of experience with using tubes and hunting the tubes um, and from my experience and from quite a few other people's experience tubes need to be broken a bit they need to be stretched out a bit before they really get top speed 9.5mm steel bang and greens 273 feet per second probably get a little bit higher than that I'm not trying to get record breaking speeds I'm just giving you an idea I am flipping the catapult and I am snapping the patch back, 274 feet per second. So, pretty consistent. Same ammo. Now using double terabyte gold, 2015. 9.5mm steel. And a chunky mobile mark 2. 280 feet per second. Five another shot. 
271 feet per second. So, very, very similar range to the um, greens. So, 9.5 millimetres still, firing over the top of line with all the cat hooks. All the cat hooks have the same fork width. We're using the same attachment method. 9.5 millimetres still, and tank anywhere. 309 feet per second. Fire one more shot. Like I said, all these sets are brand new and made them today actually. 310 feet per second. So, as you can see, all very fast, all capable of taking game, but in particular, the reds are fast. Next, 10.7 millimeter lead, which weighs 7.6 grams. This is my preferred hunting. Uh, ammo actually, it's what I use mostly recently. Okay, bank on green, same as before, two shots. 238 feet per second. Right, one more shot. Two hundred and thirty six feet per second. Next, double Sarah Bang Goes, twenty fifteen, taper, same ammo, ten point seven millimeter there. Chunky Mobile Mark two. Two hundred and forty nine feet per second. That seems that's I've done a lot of crony testing with these sort of sets before, that seems a little bit faster than usual. Two hundred and forty feet per second. Um, it is warm in here today, as you saw. The temperature is around about twenty degrees, so it's very warm. So I'd expect things to uh, be closer to their top speed. Temperature does affect the speed that your projectile is going to fly. Bank on reds, chunky mobile Mark Three, ten point seven millimeter lead. Two hundred and fifty-four feet per second. Next shot. 264 feet per second. Now it's a warm day. If I keep firing the tubes, they will get faster. Um, it's the same for the bands as well. I'm just going to do one more shot with the green because I think that's normally going to be much more comparable to the Therabango. So I'll just do one more shot. 10.7 millimetre lead. Yeah, 238 feet per second. So, again, speeds are almost identical to the uh, double Theravan Gold, and reds were quite a bit faster. Next, we're going to use 12mm lead. A lot of people like to use this ammo for hunting. Oh, that's a 14, I'll take that one out. Don't want any false readings. And we're going to two shots with each, same as we've been doing with all the setups. Bank on greens, caper tubing. Chunky Millbroke, Mark 3 in aluminium. 208 feet per second. That felt a little bit slow, I don't think I've quite got the technique right there. That's better. 211 feet per second. Double Theraband Go, 2015 next. As I said, all of these bands flat band sets and tube sets are available from the game to the John. Two hundred and twenty one feet per second. Fire one more shot. And two hundred and twenty nine feet per second. Like I said, as I keep firing, the shots will get progressively slightly faster. I'm not trying to. Sh I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying to do record speeds for any of these band sets. I'm just giving you a rough idea of what sort of speeds they do with what sort of band. So bank on red. Next, and again, 12 millimeter lead. The third bank is much heavier draw weight than the green, so you'd expect it to shift heavier ammo. That's 
slightly faster. 230 feet per second. Like I said, all these sets are brand new. I'm pretty confident that once these tubes are broken in a bit more, they they fire things slightly faster. Not massively faster, but definitely 10 to possibly 15 FPS faster. 235 feet per second. So as you can see overall, the Zankan Reds were faster. When you look at all the ammo sizes. The Zankan Greens. I'll put these over here. The Greens and the Golds are very close. All very good sets. All very capable of hunting. All very capable of taking game. Um, really, whether you choose flats, flats or tubes, a lot of the time it's going to be down to personal preference. As you can see, they're all very capable band sets. The idea that flats are much faster than tubes is gone. One of the advantages that the tubes have over the flats is some people think they have a longer lifespan. In addition, they've got a much lighter draw weight, plus it's, in some respects it's easier to attach. But um, yeah, I shoot flats and I shoot tubes. So uh, this is why I thought I'd do that video, this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you've been informative. Cheers. This is a little bonus video. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to show you the difference that heat can make. It's now about five degrees warmer than it was before, and the humidity is lower. This will mean that projectiles will, fall, will travel faster. I've got the same three setups as before. Double Fair Van Gogh 2015, Dancone Red Taper Tubes, and Dancone Green Taper Tubes, all available from Gamekeeper John. The crony set to zero, which means it's just been turned on. You can see the heat and you can see the humidity. I'm going to be firing 10.7 millimeter lead, same as I fired before, I'll pass the camera to mark. Wipe my hands around, get a little sweaty. Okay, 10.7 millimeter lead. So before this is doing about 235 feet per second with this setup. Yep, yeah. now we've got 249 feet per second. I'll do one more shot. So as you can see that that increase in temperature and that decrease in humidity has made the projectile travel faster. 244 feet per second. So, you clearly see that heat, the hotter it is, the faster your projectile is going to travel. Okay, now we've got the double third goes, 2015. <coughs> 257 feet per second. I'll have one more shot. Two hundred and fifty-two feet per second. So as you can see, it's five degrees hotter and it's significantly faster. Around about five to ten. Okay, bank home rates. Ten point seven millimeter length. This is my preferred hunting ammo. Two hundred and sixty feet per second. Two hundred and sixty-four feet per second. So you can clearly see, as we've had an increase in temperature and also a decrease in humidity, we've, we've achieved this by heating the gym up slightly. The catapults are all firing faster. Now this process works in reverse. So if it was much colder, the speeds would be lower. So this is something that you need to bear in mind when you're hunting in the winter months. Okay, this is just a little bonus extra video. Thanks for watching, guys.